Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In Primavera, when we use the DuPont filter called Critical, it will show the critical path for the whole project ending with the last activity. But if you want to show the critical path for any activity which is somewhere in the middle of the project, that is not the last one. Now in this tutorial, let's see how to perform this. In this case, we will be using the multiple float paths feature in Primavera. Open this sample schedule that is high tech corporate park. I am opening this project. Now press F9 on your keyboard to schedule or go to the menu bar and under tools select schedule. Now in this schedule dialog box click on this options tab. Now go to the advanced tab. Tick this calculate multiple float paths checkbox. Now here check the free float option. Below that under display multiple float paths ending with activity, you choose the activity you want the critical path ending with. From this, click these three buttons and select any activity as per your wish. I am selecting one activity. It's a random activity. Now, in this box, specify the number of paths to calculate. You can usually choose as one. Now click on this close button and now run schedule. Once you run this schedule, right click on your activities table and select group on sort. Under group by select float path rather than WPS. Now I am selecting float path. Now click OK. Now your schedule has been sorted by the float path. You can also create a filter so that you can hide all the unnecessary activities which are not in the float path. So I am creating a filter called float path. And the rule for this is where float path equals 1. Click OK. That's it friends. Now you can see the critical path for the activity that we want to end with. So this is the activity that is this ending with. So this is a small critical path that we would like to view in this project. So friends, this is all about how to create critical path for any specific activity in Primavera. So friends, if you have enjoyed this video tutorial, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.